in the last few videos, we showed the overhead pattern, but didn't really explain what it means or what's going on. In this video, I was returning from an adversary air sortie solo at beautiful Eglin Air Force Base doing the beach run back. And a little non-standard for this airport as far as where I arrived and kind of some of the restrictions, but you'll get a good sense of how the overhead pattern works. And this is something that everyone uses from pilot training in the T6 to even heavies do overhead patterns or the overhead brake. Navy does it a little bit different. They do a carrier brake, but this is the Air Force overhead in a T-38A. Doesn't get any more basic than that. Two four nine, which team I get one approach? I did. Punch one, traffic one o'clock, seven miles. Is approach off at Destin, uh, B nine Lima, one thousand two hundred for one thousand six hundred. Fox, I'm searching. Two four nine, which team I get rid of contact a mile west of Destin, traffic four miles southeast of your position. Let's try to three two thirteen thirty eight to two thousand three hundred. Punch one, traffic now, one to 12 o'clock, four miles. Punch one, looking. Race one, you proceed through approach bridge. Race one, direct approach bridge. So this is why I said it's a little non-standard. Typically, we would go via gate, which brings you on the east side of the airport. Brooks Bridge was way more convenient, brings you on the west side of the airport. The only issue is Hurlburt's airspace is very close. Today's mission, I was not Nomex, I'm Race 01, and I will explain later why I ended up changing to Nomex later on flying down here, because it just wasn't a good idea. Approach, Frank 01, BFR 2500, information, Foxtrot, Bridge for initial. Frank 01, expect Brooks Bridge for initial traffic, uh, 12 o'clock, 8 miles, flight 235, 2500, four in sight and follow inbound for Brooks Bridge, recovery 1-2. Frank 01 is sensor contact, looking, welcome. Punch 1, contact tower. Air 445, Papa, you can contact us at tower 18.45. Pop a contact, that's the tower, 1-8.45. Pop a contact, Black 1 confirmed, verify the 235 to start off your nose for uh, 7 miles. Black 01 is sensor contact looking. Roger that. Project Fire 157 is going to touch to my 3003. Black 01, visual traffic. 5979, Quebec has an approach to my 3004. Jar aircraft, that's under 3004. Flak 01 is up to 4500 for weather. And Flak 1, uh, please the question. Uh, 
Very smart field side. Race one, you have a gun sight. Race one, eight from field sight. Race one, right. How much am I fighting for you, Sixty one, has traffic crossing underneath the factor. Race one, Roger. Uh, further decent over which race? Race one. So I called the traffic in sight mostly to get the descent. I mean, obviously I had the traffic in sight, but they were holding me higher over traffic, usually going into Destin, which there's a busy executive airport there. So calling the traffic in sight would have given me lower, but they said, nope, not till Brooks Bridge, which will make this higher than usual. Uh, you can see Destin off to the right. And uh, there's a lot of civilian traffic, helicopters, banner towers, it's a pretty busy airspace. The controllers do a good job of keeping us safe. Departure 125.1. Black one, you can maintain V4 out of above 4,500 televised. I'll have a 1 9 departure off uh, Eglin, climbing to 3,000 feet. I'll be a flight of 4 F 16s. Black two, one, VFR out of above 4,500. Good morning, Rocket 51, single 5,000. Rocket 51, I'm going to approach it on to 3004. 3004, Rocket 51. Race one, approaching, approach, approach. Approach race one, like to switch down. Unreadable, say again. Race one, Roger, I maintain 2100 till you're at till at initial for traffic parting right 36 at Herbert, turning southeast bound. Okay, 2100 till initial, race one, and uh, push tower. Race one, you can contact the tower channel four. Race one, switch. Baron one. Eagle 32, four mile final gear down, uh, option one nine. Eagle 32, Roger. Tower race one just inside of Perks Bridge, 2100 for initial. Race one, I can tell you for initial runway one two. Race one. So from here, I'm going to the 92 initial point, which is 90 degrees off the runway heading. Then I'll turn right and be runway heading, which is initial, which is about three miles off the end of the runway. That's a reporting point. And from there, you'll get to the, over the runway into the left break to inside downwind, which is where you slow down and configure with landing gear and flaps to the final turn and roll out on final to land. This is the most efficient way to get aircraft through the pattern at high speed, uh, especially fighter types, but also big aircraft like I talked about do this too. Race one initial. Race zero one, a break to follow the second F-15 in the left 270 for the downwind runway one two. Correction on to go runway one nine. Eagle three two, the left one two seventy. Race one. So this is the first part of why I stopped flying with the race zero one call sign is because they kept calling me racer zero one, which would be confused here. You'll hear in a minute there's actually another racer zero one in the pattern, which is very confusing. I was race with no R. So typically I would have been in the left brake by now, but they had me follow traffic, so here you see I'm looking for the traffic. You can actually see it uh, at the left part of the screen, and my job is just to create spacing and brake to follow that aircraft uh, off the left side there. So it's going to be a little bit farther extended upwind than it usually would. Turn one, at carry through the gate initial runway one, two for departures off on that. And uh, re-enter the 
Eagle 3 1, left base, gear touch and go. One, two. Eagle 3 1, runway 1 2, wind 2, 5 jet, 6 clear, touch and go. Traffic's a flight of 4, F 16 on hold, 1 9. Eagle 3 1. Racer 1, runway 1 9, line up and wait. Traffic, multiple fighters uh, on the go, runway 1 2. Racer 1, line up and wait, 1 9. Fire Mos M1, single shift in sequence, 1 9. Mos M1, I can tell it's short, runway 1 9 in sequence. Mos M1, hold short, 1 9. So you saw the overhead brake, level turn, slowing down, reducing power, trying to get slow on inside downwind with appropriate spacing from the runway to lower the gear and flaps below 240 knots, which is the gear speed on this aircraft. Base, left base, gear, touching Eagle 3 2, Roger. Eagle 3 2, runway 1 2, wind 2, 5 0 at 6, clear touch go. Eagle 3 2, clear touch go, 1 2. Tower 5 1 over Brooks Bridge, initial 2100 for approach. Baron 1, extended jail, follow F 35 over Brooks Bridge, near to initial runway 1 2. Eagle 3 1, on the go, request for re enter, gate, then jail, then initial. Eagle 3 1, approve as requested, follow F 35 over gate, near to jail. Eagle 3 1. Black one, I can tell Roger, report initial runway 1-2. Black one. Black one, proceed direct your inside of the T-38 over uh, Gabe for jail. Black one, direct initial. Race one, base gear, stop 1-2. Race one, runway 1-2, two, wind 2-6, two, you're at 6, clear plan. Airline race one. So once I hit what's called the perch, it was a left turn, 180 degrees, descending to roll out on final. My base gear stop call was late because of all of the radio traffic in the pattern because it was just very very busy and they have priority tower kind of knew where i was so it wasn't a huge urgency to get that call out baron one to follow f-2290 to initial runway one two baron one flag one short initial one two full stop flag one break departure in traffic flight of four f-16 departing one nine flag one departure in so you can see the T-38 flies a very shallow approach, but once you're landed, you get into what's called the aero brake to let the aerodynamics of the aircraft slow you down. Also, you notice I landed on the left side of the runway. We usually alternate left and right side of the runway in case somebody's behind us that they have to keep going or the brakes don't work. They have to take a cable or whatever. They can take their half of the runway. I can take mine and then you clear cold. So it's standard not to land right dead center line. You land one side or the other. And then slowly lower the nose, fly it onto the runway, and stop. So the other reason I stopped flying with race 01 is because a lot of controllers would call race is 01, which sounded like race is 01. So when they kept adding the S, I was like, you know what? I'm done. Let's be no mechs from here on out. So I stopped flying with that call sign forever. But that's it. This was uh, an overhead pattern coming back from a great day of flying in the Florida panhandle. Really enjoyed Flying it, miss flying the T-38, and I hope you got something out of this and enjoyed this flight.